Uh, breaking news tonight, fire broke out at Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett's home. WTWO's Katie Shane and John Swanner join us live from the mayor's house, house with an update, guys. Well, Elise, when I first heard, when I first got the call on this fire, I couldn't believe it. Neither could Katie, but yes, we are here at the home of Duke Bennett. It's behind, it's standing behind me right now. About 8.30, fire broke out inside his garage. His daughter had just returned home from the grocery store. And as neighbors were walking by the house, they noticed they could see the car through the open garage door. Thankfully for the mayor, the garage door is open because that allowed the neighbors to see that the car was smoldering and then it eventually broke out into flames. The firefighters did manage to contain the fire mostly to the garage area. So thankfully, not a whole lot of damage. Duke Bennett declining comment at this time, but uh, I want to bring in Katie Shane. And Katie, this is a prime example of when, when duty calls, you just come knocking. Yeah, it is. I mean, we. We both came out here. We both thought it was it was kind of a joke when we yeah. first got got the calls, but we came out here, and so did a, a lot of people from the fire department, the police department, which is who you know initially called us about it. Yeah, I go from shopping with the family to here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, and speaking of the fire department that that came out um, to to this, uh, we've got John Gardner from the Terre Haute Fire Department here. So talk to us a little bit about you know what you guys. Um, have found out about this fire since um, putting it out? Well, when we arrived on scene, obviously, that the fire was coming from the garage area. We found out that there was uh, three local neighbors that were walking by, saw that there was fire coming from underneath the vehicle and smoke coming out of the garage. They uh, got a couple of fire extinguishers and some garden hoses were trying to put it out. They actually even closed the door into the residence from the garage to help contain the fire into the um, garage and didn't have any extension into the house. It's really quick thinking by the neighbors. Um, we had been asking you before, is there any suspicion in this fire thinking that it's arson or anything like that? Uh, no, not at this time. Um, what we have, The information that we're getting from the bystanders that were coming by here is that the garage door was open, the car was in normal condition, the hood was down and everything, but there was some dropping of fire and uh, uh, some kind of fluid or something from underneath the vehicle. Uh, the fire broke out into more, it started breaking, pop, popping the tires and everything. And then with the, what they tried to do to contain the fire really helped us out. I think they really saved uh, the residents by closing the door, try to get the extinguishers on there and some of the water. And now you guys didn't even know that, the, that this house was the mayor's, was Duke Bennett's, until you guys put the fire out. That's correct. When uh, we arrived on scene, uh, we were putting the fire out, the mayor came up, the mayor was asking did we get it stopped and we didn't ask any questions and no one realized that it was the mayor's house until the fire was out. Okay, well John Gardner, thank you so much for staying with us and talking to us about this. And now John, thank you again for, for being here too. And yep. we're going to have continued coverage on this coming up on WTWO Sunrise and WTWO today, tomorrow morning. So be sure to tune in and uh, for John and myself, back to you Elise. All right. Thanks a lot, Katie and John. Appreciate your help.